Hi, I'm going to configure Microtech SXT devices to work in bridge mode. I've also used this popular manual from GTech Block. Some things are same, some things are different. First you need properly connect DC input and your laptop. And then to connect to Mic Microtech router you need to download Winbox tool. Click on MAC address to connect, not IP address. By default username is admin and password is blank. Let's remove the default configuration. And above you can see current version and name. So we are going to change name to avoid confusion. Click system identity and change it. In tutorial are named left and right. I'm going to use unit 1 and unit 2. See name here and try to follow when we jumping from one device to other. Also, after first time, you should check your router board operating system. Then just open folder where you download file and drag it into file list window, just like that. Also, after uploading, you need to reboot your device either by system reboot button or in terminal by system reboot command and wait for few minutes. Now you can already see in Winbox new version of the operating system. Click again, make address to connect. See, it's version 5.8. But we are not done yet. Open terminal window. Check firmware version by system router port print command. And also upgrade it by system router port upgrade command. After the start, we are done with upgrading. System reboot. Yeah. We are ready to create our bridge. First, in unit 1 we will configure access point. Start with enabling wireless LAN 1. Double click on it and go in advanced mode. We will change country to match regulatory agency. We can also set frequency some bold number and also SSID just to see what will happen later. Use NV2 wireless protocol mm, and that's it. Okay. Oh, 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 I forgot to enable end stream. To bridge network traffic Click bridge in main menu. I will rename it now, but usually I don't do that. Uh, under STP tab, choose rapid spanning tree protocol. Under ports tab, add Ether1 and VLAN1. Uh, under interface. OK. Now I've switched to other device. And if you didn't do that previously, Change device identity into a unit 2. Also, open terminal and check what router OS version you have. Everything is set, let's configure client side. Same as unit 1. Click wireless tab and enable VLAN 1. Double click, choose country. You need to be in advanced mode to do that. Scan frequencies. Here you see our access point. CSSID have changed previously. So you can just connect to it. Close this window and see now how our 
data is changed. On the wireless protocol use any and enable in stream. Go to bridge tab and do same things we did previously. And we are connected now. See on the registration tab our link. Ok, great. Last thing is to set up WDS. Click double click, find WDS tab, choose dynamic mesh over default bridge and choose station WDS mode under wireless tab. Ok, our link is no longer working because we need to set up WDS on access point site too. So go on access point site, choose WDS, same setups and ok, see how our link uh, working again click on registration tab before setting IP addresses check this picture how I'll do that I'm using address dot 37 for access point and dot 38 for client okay so this is access point dot 37 and also I need to define subnet mask which is slash 28 in this case leave interface ether1 for now and do the same thing on the client side just different IP address everything is set I'm going to check my connection IP config C.39 for this laptop I'm going to pin .39 which will work it's, it's same interface ok .38 working .37 access point working and the 36 is the, is the second computer it's working too bandwidth test or bandwidth test use from one device uh, IP address of the second one ok I'm getting how much about 25 megabits not bad instead of one computer I'll connect Microtech to the switch gateway will be IP address of the sub interface of the router I did not show you when running Winbox now you'll see both devices for one computer and connect now so we're going to create VLAN for management uh, VLAN will be 100 VLAN, let's change the name VLAN 100 management over bridge 1 now and IP address will be changed interface from ether1 to VLAN management ok VLAN 100 and that will be done on both IP and client side and also let's configure default route the default route will be IP address of the, of the router ok now here I'll show you a MAC address table on the switch you can see three MAC address two of Microtik S60s and one of the laptop I did all this so I can remotely connect to the Microtiks see there is no founded devices but when I enter access point IP address it connects I can also see link and I can also ping computer 